to heal my gut. Y'all, healing your gut is a long, long, long journey. And I will say I'm still on my gut health journey because I still experience acne. I still experience bloating sometimes. I still experience some of the symptoms of a gut issue, but I'm getting so much better. I've made so many improvements and I encourage you to start working on your health journey right now if you haven't, because your gut is the center of everything. Your gut can affect your bloating, your digestion, if you can't lose weight, if you struggle to gain weight, if your acne's going crazy, if your mood is crazy, anxiety, stress, depression, it's crazy how your mental health plays a part in how you're eating in your gut. Like everything revolves around your gut, so get on your gut health. But I'm gonna help you guys. I'm gonna give you guys six simple tips for beginners to start working on your gut health. So number one, let go of the diet foods. Y'all, I cannot stress this enough, like artificial sweeteners in the diet no fat, no sugar, keto, anything that like has like that that frame on it that it's a diet food most likely has really bad additives and gums and fillers and veggie oils, just all this stuff that's gonna mess up your gut. And in the long run, it's gonna do worse for you. Like it's gonna cause, most of the time it causes more cravings. So it does the opposite of what you're eating it for. You're gonna end up eating more, you're gonna still gain weight. So we gotta let go of the diet foods. You wanna focus on whole ingredient foods. So when I think of whole ingredient or single ingredient, focusing on ingredients over macros is a huge change I made because all my life I feel like I've been on a diet. I feel like a lot of us can relate. It feels like you've been on a diet your entire life, especially us women because it's just like we have so much pressure to stay a certain way. And I feel like I started dieting at such an unhealthy young age. Like I'm talking like fourth grade, like that's crazy. But anyways, letting go of looking at numbers and starting to look at ingredients will change the game. Sometimes the numbers will be higher on the more nutrient dense foods, like off the top of my head, avocado. I was always so scared to eat avocado because I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm gonna eat that. That's like 300 calories in one little freaking vegetable, whatever it is, fruit. But what we're not realizing when you're eating whole foods and those good, natural, single ingredient foods, you will be fuller longer. You're getting all your macro micronutrients needs you're fulfilling the nutrients that your body is seeking so you're not gonna over, it's really hard to overeat when you're eating a whole food diet don't knock it till you try it and it gets easier over time you stopped craving fast food you guys i have not craved fast food in a year i can't tell you the last time i said oh i want some mcdonald's or oh i want some wendy's i can sit around a table full of people eating wendy's mcdonald's burger king whatever it is and not want it because it's just like the greasiness and the feeling of it and just knowing that it's not fulfilling any basic nutrients that I need. Like it just, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good in the hood, but yeah. Number one, focus on ingredients. So, and when you're doing that, get the Yuka app. The Yuka app can easily help you. There's so many apps out there. Bobby approved Yuka. You literally just scan foods and it'll tell you like a rating and it'll show you like the additives in it, anything that you should be wary of. And that's also good for body products as well. Okay, my number two tip, probiotics, prebiotics, and like an antioxidant formula. Those are three staple vitamins I don't know if you'd call that a vitamin. Three staple supplements that I take daily. Prebiotics and probiotics, you need both of them. They're gonna be really good for your gut health. And an antioxidant formula is just really good for antioxidants if you're low in that category. I particularly was low in that category. You might not need that, but getting prebiotics and probiotics, and you can get that from sauerkraut. Um, kimchi's a good one. Kefir, stuff like that that's gonna feed the good and bad bacteria. Feed the good bacteria in your gut. Number three. Removing toxic home care and body care. I'm talking your detergent, your perfumes, your body lotion, your skincare, anything you put on your body. You guys do know that our skin is like the biggest organ of our body and everything you put on it, everything seeps in up in there. So when you put on your bath and body works full of all this artificial chemicals, and I did that for a lot of my life. 
a big chunk of my life. It's all seeping into your body. All them toxins are going into your body. And some of them are cancer causing. Some of them are just super bad and they're gonna create hormone imbalances. And what really motivated me to change all my body care was my acne was getting so bad and I could not fix it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do everything I can to get this under control. And I read a lot about it and it's like, these toxins can cause a hormone imbalance. And it's like, as much as I hated throwing out my perfumes that I collected, my bath and body works, candles. It's really, my fear was like, how am I gonna smell good? Cause y'all know I'm the queen of hygiene. And I have to smell good everywhere I go. I have to smell good. I need compliments on my smell. And it's like, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna smell this good anymore because all these natural essential oils, they don't last. These natural perfumes don't last. But I've found some really good natural stuff and I smell just as good. I get, if not more compliments now. Even with my whole natural body care routine, I don't have scented detergent. So my clothes don't smell amazing, but they smell, they smell like nothing. I I've found some really good swaps. I'll do a whole separate video on my body care swaps, my hair care swaps, my perfume swaps, my detergent. Even, even what I wash my dishes with, it's natural. My, my deodorant, natural. Everything, I'm trying to get everything natural. I will say, I still use toxic hair care sometimes because there's some natural hair care that breaks out my face because of some ingredient but we're working on the hair care part but yeah switching over your body care can make a huge difference mainly because of fragrance there's a lot of added fragrance in a lot of products even products deemed to be natural if you look at the ingredients because they be lying it'll say fragrance and we don't want that you want natural stuff even if it's just essential oils and you can smell good trust me you can smell good there's a lot of good swap brands out there and i'll make a video for y'all Next is less antibiotics. Be careful with the antibiotics, y'all. I was on antibiotics for so long for my acne, and what I did not realize is that it was just messing up my gut even more. The antibiotics, number one, only worked while I was on them. As soon as I got off my acne, came back, y'all, I went on antibiotics. I did doxycycline twice and spironolactone, and I did birth control. I did so many different pills, and my acne did not get fixed from them. It got worse, and my gut was left really bad. Bad. So be careful with antibiotics. I understand that some some conditions you might just need antibiotics, but I'm sure there's a natural way of fixing yourself. Like a lot of times, like our health problems in this health system, like you can fix a lot of issues with the way you eat. Like if you do some heavy research, like I love listening to health podcasts, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm a I'm a fiend! I listen to them while I shower, while I drive. I'm just so intrigued by nutrition and like Andrew Huberman. I don't know if I said that right. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Andrew Huberman. I don't know. His are so good. They're like an hour and 30 minutes, y'all. I be on that like crazy. But it's it's so interesting learning about it. And it's like, like there's things like the carnivore diet that people have been on. And it's like, I'm off all my blood sugar pills and I'm off this, I'm off my depression, I'm off my anxiety pills. Like people get off of all their medications just by changing the way they eat. Like it's crazy. Do some research. You might be able to change it because the doctor's gonna throw a pill in your face. We all know that. My next tip is Kind of tying it with my last, my first tip was whole foods, single ingredient foods, focus on ingredients, stay on the perimeter of the store. Really just get rid of the processed stuff, you guys. The processed stuff is not benefiting you at all. No alcohol is benefiting you. Alcohol has zero benefits. Zero. Do you see this, y'all? Zero. Someone screenshot me. This looks like a middle school post. Why am I thinking of middle school? Anyways, it has zero benefits, so why are we drinking? No judgment, but really think about it. Have you ever heard a sober person regret going sober? Think about it. Think about it now, think about it, y'all. But yeah, alcohol consumption, processed foods, get rid of it, the added sugars, the additives, the gums, the veggie oils, we don't want that. And my last tip is bone broth. Wait a minute, y'all. The way I literally just restocked on my bone broth today. I didn't even realize I was making this video. This is Kettle on Fire. Favorite brand ever. You can make your own, but this one just tastes so good. This is a classic chicken bone broth and they have reduced sodium. So if you're worried about sodium, this one has 310 milligrams. Normal sodium has 620. 
So it's cut in half. That's actually pretty good. They also have bone, they have beef bone broth. That's my favorite one. But I will see if I have a code with them. I'll get a code with them for you guys and I'll put it on the screen. That's my favorite brand. It tastes good. I just heat it up. Sometimes I don't heat it up. I can just sip it out of straw. But it's really good for your gut lining. It's so good for collagen. Collagen's great for your skin. Y'all, your skin is gonna glow. Drink that, drink a cup every morning for two weeks. Replace your coffee, drink it on an empty stomach every day for two weeks and comment, comment. I wanna hear y'all testimonies. Trust me, stay consistent though. Don't come on here and comment that it didn't do nothing if you weren't consistent with it. Drink one cup every morning for two weeks and y'all come back to these comments. But that is my top six tips for y'all for your gut health journey. I'll do a part two for y'all. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was, what you're gonna change this week and what your testimony is gonna be. Come back to this video game. I love testimonies, y'all. When y'all DM me testimonies, it makes my day. But I love you guys so much and make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, Ali.1Renee and God bless you. Bye.